So we'll be using the personal model to better understand these parental influences, the emotional schemas and the relational inhibitions. But the essence of it, the core, these emotional schemas, uh, like for example, okay, so for the social anxiety, avoidant personality disorder, the emotional schemas are repressed anger, pride, and joy. So a child learns very early on that they have to hide certain emotions because it really upsets and destabilizes the parent and one of those emotions is anger and so if the child gets angry they get into more trouble and they get more punishments so progressively very quickly the child learns to repress anger eventually the child can't even feel anger you know they've uh, pushed it away so so far down that uh, anger doesn't arise anymore because it's it's too unpleasant and there's nothing you can do about it you know so um, how do you unrepress anger how do you begin to express your anger how do you feel your way back into your body and back into your heart and uh, allow anger to fill you with its disturbing powerful energy and hold that energy and regulate it so that you can begin to uh, evaluate and see okay what what can I do about this situation because the emotion of anger you can't stop an emotion you know it arises of its own accord um, you can't plan an emotion you can't it comes naturally so you have to feel it when it comes naturally and you have to use it because it's telling you something about your situation the core emotional schema is repressed anger there's also a repressed pride and joy but repressed anger is the main one and there's excessive fear and anxiety and excessive shame and guilt so we've got to address uh, these three uh, emotional schemas um, yeah so how do you uh, express anger if you been uh, repressing this for all your life then uh, you don't even know how to feel it you know if someone does something mean or nasty to you or uh, transgresses your rights or boundaries in some way you're so used to uh, letting things slide and uh, not expressing yourself and not uh, not even feeling the anger so you don't I mean, you, you get some internal sense of injustice and you uh, it keeps replaying in your head uh, what you should have said and should have done. And <laughs> but the, the, the feeling of anger never arises in you and uh, is never allowed, you know. So the first step is to feel it, <laughs> to get in touch with your anger, man, to get angry. <laughs> but... Um, yeah now because you've never uh, felt it before it's going to be very strange and it's going to be quite disturbing and so the natural uh, response is to push it aside but we want to allow it and we want to um, yeah now the challenge with expressing it is that because you, you've never expressed it before you don't have the words and you don't have the behavior for it and um, when you try then it's going to come out 